in this corner, the reason for the season, the cursor of fig trees, the hater of the Pharisees, Jesus the Nazarene. And in this corner, the original Nirvana, the slasher of karma, the Buddha. Let's get ready to rumble! Hey YouTube, Buddha Gem here, and as Christmas nears, I find it fun to compare the great sages of Christianity and Buddhism. Few stories within the Christian and Buddhist canons illustrate the difference between the Buddha and the Christ more than the raising of Lazarus and the story of Kisugotami. In each story, the respective sage is presented with an extreme dilemma. A follower has lost a loved one and wants him to be brought back to life. You're probably familiar with the story of Lazarus, but if not, let's go ahead and run the clip. Oh, Master, if you would have been here, Lazarus would have lived. Your brother shall rise again. I am the resurrection and the life. He who believes in me, though he were dead, shall live again. I know that you are the Christ and the Son of God. Take away the stone. No, Master. He's been dead for four days. The body is decaying by now. Didn't I say that if you would believe, you would see the glory of God? Lazarus, come forth. Loose him and let him go. <laughs> Lazarus, my friend. I have done this that you might believe I have power over death. Now, the story of Kisugatami is probably not as familiar to you. Kisugatami had also lost a, lost a loved one. It was her son who meant the world to her. She was greatly distressed, unable to cope with the death of her son, and so she goes to the Buddha and asks him to heal her son. The Buddha replied that she only needed to acquire some mustard seeds. She only had to get a small quantity from a house where nobody had died. Towards evening, she finally realized that not only was she was stricken by the death of a loved one, but this was the common human fate. What no words had been able to convey to her, her own experience, going from door to door, made clear to her. She understood the law of existence, the being fettered to the always reoccurring deaths. In this way, the Buddha was able to heal her obsession and bring her to an acceptance of reality. Kisugotami no longer refused to believe that her child was dead, but understood that death is the destiny of all beings. Now most of us, given the choice, would probably opt for the Jesus response if one of our loved ones had just died. It is emotionally very appealing, but it's my belief that the Buddha made the wiser choice in his response. Lazarus eventually died again. Jesus' solution was only temporary. His family would once again have to deal with the death of their loved one. Kisugutami, on the other hand, was helped to understand the realities of life and death. Through her wisdom, she was able to accept the death of her son and ultimately find a happiness that was not dependent upon temporary forms. <laughs> 